Hey guys, well over the last couple of weeks I've been getting uh, more and more questions about environment modeling, okay? So uh, I decided to revisit the topic that I did a couple of years ago and that is how to rig and animate doors and windows for your environment, okay? So let's uh, jump in and check it out, here we go. Hey guys, well we're in Maya 2018 and let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to animate doors and windows in uh, different setups, okay? So this door right here, we're going to make that that it will uh, open up like this. We'll have this be a sliding window that can go up and down like so. We'll have these windows open up rotation-wise like this. And finally, we'll have the big window rotate like that okay all right so a couple of things you need to keep in mind uh, first of all when we look at the door the door is gonna have hinges and depending on the uh, direction that you want the door to rotate you're gonna have to place those hinges okay so if we have this door and we want to have it move inwards then the hinges are gonna be on the inside okay or at best case you'll see a little part of it right there if it's gonna go outside you will see the hinges in this side okay so and what you want to do if you want to be perfectly on spot is to uh, set your pivot point in the center of those hinges so how that would work is uh, let's say that this cylinder here is a hinge we'll hit W I'll we'll move that in and then hit R and scale it up a bit and then scale the whole thing down hit W bring that in we'll go to the top view and let's have a look at our door here Okay, so that hinge is going to be somewhere around here. I have to zoom in, R to scale down. Let's make that nice and small. Something like that, All right? And then let's uh, check the position on the front here. Okay, we're going to hit W, we're going to move that up. So you're going to have, let's make this a bit longer. Let's do R. You're going to have a hinge, let's say one there and then control D, hit W to move it down. You'll have one down here. So let's do one there and maybe move this one up a bit. So that would basically be your situation, right? Now let's make sure they're in the right place and everything. Okay, so if that were the case, then what you would wanna do, and I'll just give these guys a different color so you can see it better, is make sure that they hinge on that point, right? Kind of makes sense. So. Uh, first of all, we'll take our door, we'll take our hinges, and we'll combine the mesh. So go to Mesh and Combine. Now, as we want it to rotate around those hinges, you want to have your pivot point in the center of that hinge. So you're going to go to the top here, and we're going to hit uh, Insert, or hold down D. It's the same effect, so hit the Insert key. We're going to move that down, and we're going to hit F to zoom in. Okay. We're going to hold down V and we're going to snap that to the center of our hinge and we're going to hit the insert key again. All right. So now if we hit E to rotate this guy, it's going to hinge perfectly on where those hinges are. Okay. That's what we want. All right. So that's all set. Now for this window right here, the movement that we're interested in is going up and down. So whether that pivot point is up here or down here, it doesn't really matter as long as we can do this, okay? And you wanna be center from the top. Okay, so what about these guys? Well, basically same situation as with the door. You can put hinges in here if you like. You don't have to, but you can. Uh, but make sure that your pivot point is sitting right here on the side and same at that end, okay? So that would mean that when you hit E to rotate, it would rotate at that point. Now, if you look carefully at the top there, you'll see that if you had hinges here, you would have that in the center of that hinge. And here is of course the opposite, like so, okay? And then finally, we've got this guy, because it's rotating over its own axis in the middle, you're gonna want to have that pivot point right there, okay? So that's gonna be right there, either there or there in the middle. It doesn't really matter. So you could have it here or here, as long as it's in this playing field, all right? 
Okay, so that's all set up. We can now move the door, the windows, uh, you know, the slide window and so forth, but we're not quite there yet, okay? So for example, if we take this door and we rotate it, we don't want it to be able to rotate all the way through the wall, obviously, okay? So we want to limit that. And the same goes for everything else. So what is my starting point and what is my maximum end point? That's basically what we're going to set up, okay? So let's start at the door here. We're going to select the sky. Let's hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Here we go. And we're going to look at what happens when we rotate this guy. So look at the values. Now what you're seeing here is that if you go to the right, the translate values, nothing is changing there. Okay. Now um, the scale, same deal. Uh, shear, same deal. So what is happening here? The only thing that's changing is the rotation value in the Y here, X, Y, and Z. Okay. This value right there. So if that is the only one that's changing, then basically you can lock down everything else. You don't have to, but you can. You know, If you're going to pass your model on to somebody else and you don't want them to get confused, what you can do is go in here, click on, for example, Translate X, right click and go to Lock Attribute. Okay, do the same here. And then we'll do that here. Well, the scale kind of depends. If you think that they're going to scale up or down the whole scene, you might want to leave that alone. But for now, we're just going to lock that. All right, the rotation, this is not changing and that is not changing. Oops. All right, so this is the only thing. So if we, uh, let's say, hit W and we want to move this up the door, okay, you see that the handles are grayed out. I can't do that even if I wanted to, okay? Now I got the wall right here, but if I got the door, you can see that the uh, controls are grayed out. All right, so now we can move our doors, our windows, and everything else, but do we want it to be able to move uh, without boundaries, okay? So for example, if we take this door here and I open it, do I want to be able to open it so far that it will go all the way through and go through my wall. Now, obviously not. Okay, so I'm going to control Z to go back, and what I want to do is limit that movement. Okay, so let's start with our door. Uh, I got it selected. The pivot point is in the right place. You can see that I can open it and so forth. And we're going to go in and we're going to have a look. So, do I want a translation value on the door? Okay. So, in other words, do I want to be able to hit W and move it up and down? Well, I do not, of course. Do I want to do this? No. Do I want to do this? No. So we're going to limit all of that information. So what I'm going to do here is in the translate value, I'm going to click here, right click, lock attribute. Same here. Same here. I don't want any of that. Now rotation value, if I hit E to rotate, the only value that I want here is you got X, Y, and Z. I want this value to change and everything else I want that locked, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back. So I'm gonna lock this guy, and I'm gonna lock this guy. We'll lock this, we'll lock this, we'll lock this. Now for scale, it kind of depends. If you are passing on your model to somebody else and you think that they might be scaling the whole scene up or down, you would uh, leave that alone. But if not, you would go in and let's uh, lock that. Okay, so now if I go in and I select my door and I hit W because I want to move it up and down, you see that my controls are grayed out. I can't touch it. The only thing I can do here is hit E to rotate it and open that up. Okay, cool, right? Well, we're still not done because do I want to be able to rotate that all the way like this? Well, no, I don't. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to limit that information. So we literally have a tab here that says limit information. Now um, we got the rotate and scale and transform here. Now I uh, translate, sorry. Now I'm interested in the rotation value. So I'm going to close this one down. I'm going to go in here and you can see that two of them are grayed out and the one in the middle, that's the one that's still alive, if you will. And if I rotate this, you can see, okay, where am I going? Now, I'm going to hit Control-Z to go back, and I want to see how far I can go to this end. So I can actually go in and look at the top here, 
Let's see, okay, so I want it to be able to go here and not any further. So that's 178.42, right? So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna set that to minus 178.42, enter. All right, so how far do I want it to go in the other direction? So that is gonna be zero, right? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna set that to zero, okay? So let's see what we got. We're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna open and close the door to its maximum, okay? So boom, boom. I'm hitting the wall and that's as far as I can go. And you're gonna see there that it will stop at 178.42. If I go back and I wanna push it all the way through here, you'll see that it will stop where it should, right? So that is how that works. Now, how does that work with the sliding window? It's not that different, okay? So we're gonna go in here and you're gonna kind of decide which one you want to be able to move. Well, the top one typically wouldn't, you would slide this one up. So I'm gonna take this one and this one and we're gonna go to mesh and combine. Now the bottom window is the one that I wanna move up and down like that, okay? So again, we're gonna go in and we're gonna go into the, uh, the values here. And let's see when we move that up and down you can see that it does. Uh, I want to go to uh, Modify and Freeze Transformations to set everything to zero here. So now when I go up, I can see what's changing. That's the only value, okay? So we can do the same thing as before. I won't do all of them, but just so you know. So lock attribute, lock attribute, and you basically lock everything you don't need. And you leave the one that you want, okay? And so on. So this is the one that you're working with. Okay, so how far do you want it to go up? Well, you got your starting point. So hang on, let's go back here, sorry. Okay, and we're gonna go and look at our translate limit information on Y, okay? So this is rotate, this is translate. So translate on Y, that's this guy. So right now it's at zero, okay? So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna set this to zero. How far do we want that to go up? Okay, we're gonna push that up. Let's say all the way to here, which would be 2.7. So we're gonna go in here, set that to 2.7, and there we go. So now if we take the window, boom, 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 boom. And you can't do anything else. If I hit E to rotate, there you go, it's grayed out, okay? Now, this basically works the same as our door, two ways. You have your pivot point right there. So you're gonna look at your rotation of value and what I'll do here is I'll uh, select it and go to uh, modify and freeze transformations. Do the same here. So everything is set to zero. So you can see that when I move this, the only thing that I'm interested in is the rotation value right there. And for this guy, the rotation value right there as well. And then finally for this guy right here, rotation once again, it's a rotation in Z. So you lock everything else and you limit the information based on that value, right? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully it was understandable and you know what to do. Um, and uh, have fun with that, right? If you've got any questions, let me know. As always, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on future videos, please subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.